Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the shortlist in the International Mathematical Olympiad 2011. It says, find all functions f of g that maps the set of real numbers to itself, such that g of f of x plus y equals f of x plus 2x plus y times g of y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a very approachable functional equation to me because uh, when I first saw this problem, I could immediately spot two weak spots. So the first one is that by replacing this y into minus 2x, I could quickly make this term vanish and I can generate some very simple equation. So here's the first step is that if y equals minus 2x, then the left hand side of the equation, g of f of x minus 2x equals f of x plus 2x minus 2x times g of minus 2x. Now, regardless of the uh, g term at the end, because 2x minus, 2, minus 2x is 0, so the second term, sim the whole thing vanishes, and so its right-hand side only becomes f of x. Now, at the same time, g of f of x minus 2x is g of f of minus x. So we have a very simple functional equation. And I, could, I could even say that g of f of x equals f of minus x. So I've managed to rewrite this very complicated um, double function into simply in terms of f. So therefore, I can even say that f of minus x minus y, because that's exactly what g of f of x plus y will become, equals f of x plus 2x plus y times g of y. So that's the first equation. Now here comes the second weak spot, is that this equation is actually not symmetric. So, I'm going to do something, which is to swap the position of x and y, so that I can quickly generate a very similar equation um, with very um, little work. So now, swap x and y, and I will get g of f of x plus y. Left hand side is symmetric, actually, about x and y, so uh, it will be the same. Now that equals f of y plus 2y plus x and the whole thing times g of x. So because left hand side is symmetric, while right hand side is not, so I can say that f of x plus 2x plus y times g of y equals f of y plus 2y plus x times g of x. Now I'm going to make three substitutions there are actually cyclic permutations and to generate a few more equations so I can uh, do some more work. The first one is that I'm going to replace... I should not use this word, I should simply use symbols. X becomes... Uh, uh, 0 and then Y becomes X. So F of 0 plus uh, 2x plus y is now actually x, x times g of x equals um, f of x plus 2x g of x. So it's g of 0 instead. Now, the next one is that x becomes 1, while y becomes uh, 0. So f of 1 plus 2x plus y is now 2 only, so 2 times g of 0 equals f of 0 plus 2y plus x is 1, so it's g of 1. And finally, x is going to remain unchanged, and y is going to be replaced by 1. So f of x plus 2x plus 1 times g of 1 equals uh, f of 1 plus x plus 2 times g of x. And I'm going to add these three equations together. Now after adding, notice that 
all the terms in yellow should that should be cancelled out. So adding. So what's left is just x times g of x plus two times g of zero plus two x plus one times g of one and that subtracted by the entire right hand side two x times g of zero g of one and x plus two times g of x is then equal to zero. And so further simplify, we have uh, 2x times g of 1 and then plus 2 minus 2x times g of 0 and then minus 2g of x equals 0. So I can say g of x equals to x times g of 1 minus g of 0 and also adding g of 0 at the end. So at this stage, we know that g of x must be a linear function or it's a constant. And that really depends on whether g of 1 equals g of 0. So to determine this, I'm going to separate into two cases. The first case is that, so at first I let g of x equals a s plus b, for, uh, so to make things uh, easier to write, where a and b are real numbers. Now if a equals 0, then the original equation will become uh, so just a constant b at the left hand side equals uh, f of x plus uh, 2x plus y times b. But that is um, actually quite ridiculous because um, we have uh, f of x is somehow in terms of, um, can be written in terms of y. So the only possibility for that to continue to happen is that b can only be 0. So that means g identically vanishes. And similarly, f will identically, van identically vanish as well. OK, so that's the first case. Now we come to the main case, which is the second case, is that uh, otherwise, I can put this back into this very important result, simple but important result, is g of f of x equals to f of minus x. Or maybe actually not this. Maybe I should go for the other one instead. It seems not very uh, viable. Maybe I can go for this one instead. So if I put, the, put g of x equals as plus b into this equation, then f of minus x minus y equals f of x plus 2x plus y times ay plus b. Then by simply uh, writing, uh, putting x equals 0, then f of minus y is f of 0 plus y times a y plus b. So I finally managed to um, write, uh, to express f of y. So f of y equals a y squared minus b y plus f of 0. So we know that. If g is indeed linear, then f must be, um, it must be um, a quadratic polynomial. In particular, when we know that a is non-zero, so the quadratic term is valid. So now, now I'm going to put this into this, uh, the, the, the simpler equation. Is that g of f of x equals f of minus x. Now that makes some sense. Hence, um, a times f of x plus b equals f of minus x. And then a times ax squared minus bx plus f of 0 plus b equals ax squared plus bx 
plus f of 0. Now I can compare coefficients on both sides. Then a squared equals a, and because a is not 0, so a must be 1. Now I can continue comparing coefficients. So we have um, x squared minus bx plus f naught plus b equals x squared plus bx plus f of 0. Now comparing, I know that uh, again b equals 0. So to conclude, we can say that um, g of x is simply an x because a is 1 and b is 0. No, it's not 1, but x. And at the same time, f of x is x squared plus some constant c. Okay. Okay, so now we have two possible solutions. One is both vanish and it's easy to check. We can check it here. Both sides equals to zero. Oh, I say vanishes. Okay, and then I check the second solution. The left hand side would be uh, because g is simply the identity function, so g of f of x plus y equals x plus y whole squared plus c. And now the right hand side becomes x squared plus c plus 2x plus y times y. And indeed, it's x squared plus 2xy plus y squared plus c. So that equals to left hand side. So yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.